so good hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i have a really really exciting video so i'm just gonna get straight into it we're doing a full face testing sheen makeup technically it's not sheen makeup it's she glam but they sell it on sheen and it's super super cheap i was a bit skeptical at first because i was just like how good can that be for my skin like this on sheen i don't i don't know why i was really like scared to try it but i saw it all over tiktok i didn't really watch the videos but i did see it so i thought why not try it out for myself and bring you guys along with me i can't lie i don't remember what i ordered so <laughs> this is gonna be fun this is a headband from sheen i love this so much basically i watched the madison beer i can't remember what video it was but i watched madison beer do her makeup i think it was vogue and she had this and i was like okay madison beer has it i need it hers is definitely not from sheen but baddie on a budget do you know what i mean I didn't pick up a primer, but I did order this little container. You might be like, that's literally drunk elephant, is it not? No, besties, it's... Okay, I haven't filled it up that well. <laughs> Basically, I filled this up with my moisturiser because two reasons. I really want drunk elephant products, but can't afford that secondly this is the moisturizer i use i love it so so much it's literally so cheap from Superdrug, cruelty free for dry skin so good but the lid always breaks off and it's just hard to travel with because i don't want it spilling everywhere so i thought this would be perfect i didn't realize it would be this small i think there are different sizes you can get i ordered a makeup bag and i chose this one because it really just reminded me of jeff avenue this is my current makeup bag it's so good it's one of those ones that like stretch out and then you like do it up and you just literally fit all your makeup in there but again really hard to travel with i also picked up this little bag for my skincare because i've been obsessed with skincare at the minute and my favorite tiktoker emily kaiser i think that's how you say her last name she has a bag like this so i saw it and i was like i need it i just want this to be like really relaxing like calm so let me just do that i'm not ready in calm energy right now i'm not really a foundation girly so i ordered a tester for literally like 40p because one i wasn't sure on my shade and two i'm not a foundation girly i wear foundations really only on like special occasions so i got this <laughs> i didn't realize it would be that small i bought this skinfinite hydrating foundation in the shade wheat Ooh. okay let's have a look i am fake tanned at the minute that's actually quite a good match so far first impression <gasps> no my starbucks <gasps> no it's gone on my makeup bag okay right let's try that again i'm sorry about the lighting i don't have the best lighting in my uni house it is very very runny wait look can you see i chose this instead of a more full coverage foundation because they do have a few options i wanted something a little bit more glowy something a little bit more natural that could be like maybe buildable guys do you know i'm not actually a sponge girl like i don't have a makeup sponge so when i saw this on the website i picked it up i was a bit nervous because when i saw like cheaper makeup sponges i was a bit like how soft can they really be is it gonna be like a hit my face with a rock sort of thing i saw these it's a five pack not sure what i would use these for but that could be kind of cute this is the size of it now and i'm gonna go and wet it and see how soft it gets this is what it's looking like whoa chill very chill this is what the sponge is looking like now it is huge i can't lie like look at that compared to my face very soft as well which is good no one wants a hard sponge so i don't know if it's meant to be like a marshmallow sponge dupe the only thing is i don't want to get it dirty because it's such a cute like baby pink color but oh well Okay, the foundation is a little bit dark for me, but obviously that can be fixed with concealer and stuff. So I'm really, really impressed with how dewy this is. I don't know if you can see. Look how quick that just blended out. You know what? I'd actually repurchase that in my actual shade. I love the finish of that. I look a little bit concerning at the minute because obviously it's not my shade. For the actual foundation and the sponge, I don't know how much product it soaked up, but it blended out so quick i forgot to say all of these products are cruelty free which i'm so happy about because that's a very important thing for me i try really really hard to not buy products that are tested on animals this is just really impressive because again like i said like the products are so cheap so it's like if she glam can make their products cruelty free then why can't big brands do you know what i mean this i'm really excited to try it's the she glam like magic 12 hour full coverage concealer i've always always had dark circles but at the minute they're just so this is oxidizing this foundation getting darker got this in the shade madeline hopefully we can brighten up this foundation oh wow that is very light 
that's one just pulling it out sort of thing so i want to see how much product i can get out of that okay we actually are getting a lot of product out of one thing but i'm gonna go back in okay to keep this fair i'm gonna blend out one side of my concealer with the brush that i used to blend out all my concealers i love this so much it's the real techniques contour brush i'm gonna also do one side with the sponge because then that's like testing the products but this is to make sure it's fair to see how much coverage it gets because obviously the sponge is gonna soak up a little bit so okay let's see okay that's way too light i always put concealer around my mouth because i have discoloration there you know what it's my fault because i got the wrong shade in both foundation and concealer i might have to give this concealer to my mom because i don't think i'm going to be able to make this work for me i feel like because it's so light and the foundation is so opposite it's making it look a little bit gray okay blend it with my favorite brush oh oh no way 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 too light i'm gonna do some bronzing and some blush which i'm so excited for because i love blush and i've actually really needed a new cream blush because mine literally just ran out i picked up one of each so one's shimmery and one's matte i don't know which one's which guys i'm so excited to try this blush look at that so cute this one's in the shade rose ritual can't tell which one's matte and which one's shimmery it's like the Charlotte Tilbury, but the opposite. Oh, okay. Don't tip it upside down because the product will just come out. Also picked up a liquid contour. I say contour because I think I got it in a warmer shade. I do love a little orange bronzer moment. I'm just going to try it, guys. Ooh. Oh, I love that applicator. Okay, let me put this on my nose and on my eyelids. It doesn't smell like anything. But I got this in the shade Warm Honey. Love the packaging of that. That's so cool. Okay. Done already. That's crazy. I don't know if it blended or if it just disappeared. I'm going to move on to blush. This one is Rosé Ritual. Okay, that was really fun. Oh, I don't know. Is this a shimmer one? Risky Business says Day Glow. So this one's got to be the shimmer one. Okay, let's just see okay that okay <laughs> okay this one is definitely the shimmery one to set that all in i'm gonna use the she glam baked glow setting powder i got this in translucent but i'm a bit scared for this i'm very very particular when it comes to powders because i hate flashback let's test this out it's looking very white oh that's fun comes with a little powder puff i do already use powder puffs from she i literally use them in my makeup every single day love them so much Okay, so that's what that looks like this looks like it's got a little bit of glitter in which makes me a little bit nervous guys i really don't know how to feel about this i am quite heavy-handed when it comes to powder just because i want my makeup to be set in place okay oh my gosh imagine if this gives flashback and whilst that's you know i'm gonna test out this little eyebrow pencil i got it in the shade dark brown it's very much giving anastasia beverly hills brow is which that is very exciting oh wow okay pigmented shall i zoom this in Ooh. i have never really been able to figure out how to do my eyebrows in a way that i like them i am very much enjoying this okay new step in my makeup routine if there's one shade match i've got correct it's it's the eyebrows a win is a win i'm just gonna wipe away that bake i'm not obsessed overall i wouldn't recommend this powder i'm very very particular about powders I'm not a fan of that one this however is jumping out at me and i'm picking up what it's putting down you know what i mean i'm actually gonna put this in my makeup routine and use this every single day chef's kiss and look how well they packaged up this bronzer this is the she glam sunside bronzer i got this in the shade sun star i don't know if this is gonna be dark enough yeah i don't know if that's gonna be dark enough oh okay Okay, it's giving pigment. Um, oh, that's very patchy. Um, what's going on? Little button nose moment. Fake it till you make it, am I right, babes? And I'm just going to bronze up my eyelids because that's what I do every single day. On my eyelids, I'm really, really liking this. I'm loving it on the eyelids. On my face, however, I'm not really so convinced. Let me just blend it out a little bit. So this is actually a little bit crazy what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna put one of the blushes like on top of the powder to see how it moves my makeup rose ritual queen pull through that smells nice 
Okay, let's see. That did move my makeup. As you can see, it's completely took my makeup off there. This whole section here is a jump scare. What I'm going to do now is just spray my face just to soak up that powder because it's... Oh. <sighs> anyway, I didn't get a powder highlighter, but I did pick up this Fairy One Precision, Precision Highlighter. Fairy One Precision. I got a highlighter pencil. Um, so I'm going to test this out. I've never used anything like this before. And I don't think it's going to work on my cheeks. So I don't even think that's worth trying. On my nose, she could be cute. It's in the shade Ethereal. Did I say that right? Ethereal? She completely broke off, actually. Guys, my makeup's looking like a hot mess. I can't lie. Oh, that's kind of ugly. I feel like in my heart and soul, I've just given up with this makeup. Guys, my skin feels like chalk. I thought I picked up a black liquid eyeliner, but I actually got a brown one. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, can you see the sparkles? It's like a little ombre, like, sparkle. That is so pretty. I love that. And that's what it's looking like, a little pen. I've not used a pen eyeliner in the longest time. Oh, that is so cute and so easy to use. I'm going to draw a little... Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just spray my face. That is meant to be waterproof, so it should be okay. Because I couldn't find any setting sprays, I'm gonna use this Primark Hydrating Priming Spray. I use it just to add some hydration back into my face, which is very much needed after using that powder. I think I went a little bit overboard with the, the beauty marks. Okay, to finish off this look, I bought some lashes. They're all the same. They're just kind of like cat eye. So they're my favorite. I love a cat eye lash. So how many pe- Oh! You're gonna touch me. Oh, it's my hair. That's what they're looking like. Let's give you a good look at that. I'm definitely going to need to trim those. So let's just trim the end off. Okay, that was really easy to stick on. Guys, I literally look grey. This is kind of tragic, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, guys, so this is what my makeup is looking like. Let's be honest, I look like a hot mess. Let's talk about it. Foundation, I love so much. I am definitely going to repurchase that in my right shade. Concealer, no. Not only is it the wrong shade, like, that is obviously my fault. That is the complete wrong shade, and it turned me grey when I mixed it with the foundation. The coverage is also just not there. Powder, oh my gosh, you know how I feel about the powder. I love these. I would buy every single shade of the blushes. I love the applicator. I love how easily it blends out, and I just think it looks so cute. Obviously, it did take my makeup off, but that's when I put it on top of the powder. So, as long as you use it under powder, it's fine, really. What else is there? Eyebrow pencil, love that. I'm going to put that in my makeup routine along with the liquid eyeliner not only the packaging is so cute but it was so easy to use straight away love this I, I don't know like why buy more expensive eyeliners when this literally exists and it's cruelty free the little highlighter stick i don't like that i just don't really think it suits me anyway i feel like they've got their cream products like down they know what they're doing with their cream products but the powder ones could maybe use a bit of help I don't know. Like, obviously my makeup looks awful. I will admit that. I feel like I could definitely use all these products again and just do it a lot better. Apart from the concealer and the powder. Like, I could do this makeup again tomorrow and make it look better. But for first impressions, like, I gotta keep it real for the video. Do you know what I mean? Like, these are my first impressions. Other than that, that's really pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back again soon. Maybe I should try full face trying Primark makeup. Because Primark makeup is... Primark makeup's doing bits lately. But yeah. Thank you for watching.